Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of full life still Olaf in the jungle here in pre-season 13. I think it's a lot better than it was in season 12. It was already really good. The main reason is because it's the blue jungle item. Gives you a lot of bonus movement speed once it's finished. Whenever you enter a brush, it feels super, super nice. It helps you to stay on top of people. Gain 45% movement speed to king over two seconds upon entering brush. Increases 60% when killing large jungle monsters. Level one gonna start q for the most damage possible also on olaf you clear faster the lower you are on hp so even if you drop some hp on your first camp that's totally fine your passive will heal you and give you more attack speed the more hp you're missing not a huge deal toss our q over head over to the gromp got our w for more attack speed auto attack w reset you certainly don't need to start a potion on olaf it's not necessary at all because he has so much self-healing already Olaf's biggest strength is his raw 1v9 carry potential. He's basically a better version of Warwick in a lot of ways, since he has a ranged attack and some ranged CC on his Q, and Warwick doesn't. At the same time, Olaf can't be CC'd when he's on his R, and his R doesn't go on cooldown as long as you are still attacking the enemies with an auto or an E. It per will perpetually extend it. So, Olaf can be quite hard to deal with if you position properly and know when to go in. It's a Vagar mid, we can run through his cage, go through the jacks, stun, all that fun stuff. Auto attack W reset. W is an auto attack reset on Olaf, so is your E. Go ahead and bop it on the red buff. And then these will get AoE down. Auto attack W reset. Let's pull it into brush just in case it's out invades. He did take Hella Blades, which is strong early, particularly if you're low on HP when he starts fighting you. At the end of the day, having Lethal Tempo or Conquer will give a lot more value in a fight to the death, assuming you both have above half HP. Hella Blades is more for ganking or for sniping down super squishies. Looks like we're going to be able to do roughly a 315 full clear with Leash. Not too bad. Yeah, about 315, high HP, no potion used. Scuttle spawns in at 330. We'll have time to invade Zin if he did a full clear. Zin full clear is honestly not as fast. Let's see if we can find that. Should be on his gromp. Okay, he's not over here. Maybe he started on top side. Xante is dominating this jack super hard. I want to hold on to W. It's a relatively long cooldown. And you really want to have it. When you're looking for that all-in fight. Big Tristan gauge. I can't really follow it up though. I'll cross over. Break this ward real quick. Hopefully Zen hasn't taken bot scuttle. Nice. Okay, he's on it right now. He, he already got it. Dang. Looks like he did a full clear into scuttle. But he started top side, which was smart. Because he was able to avoid me that way. There's really nothing to gank here. First item rush typically... You'd go for Shield Bow, but since it's season preseason 13, I think Ravenous is best because it scales. You get stacks for killing and for staying alive. I'll ghost for this. Auto attack W reset here in a second. We get the ghost extensions. Should be able to get the flash out of karma. Auto attack into the E reset. We'll go ahead and dump this wave. We have lethal tempo stacked up, so we might as well stay to push. We might be able to potentially kill the Ezreal as well. Wow, that actually hit. And we're dead. I thought we were going to get some kind of shield from the Renata, maybe a speed up. Ezreal played that well. I trolled that a little bit. <laughs> that was super troll. On the bright side, we just got a super fast recall. So all planned, definitely meant to do that. It's time to full clear. Ezreal has two kills total, so he'd already gotten a kill on Renata before he killed us there. He had a long sword advantage. Obviously, we should have let that go and look for the reset. Shouldn't matter too much, though. I can continue to bully these guys down. Xin Zhao absolutely blew up. Not very tanky. My bot lane also had slight prio, which meant they could rotate sooner. He started getting three man before. His botlin was able to assist him. Plus, Zin Zhao's not going to be able to match an Olaf. Your worst nightmare on Olaf is champions that are permanently mobile that you can't stay on top of with your autos. Those type of champions. There's not a lot of counterplay for you. 
You really want to just be able to stand there in one spot and mash them down with autos. Vagar is really going to stick around on the map. Wow. Team. Ooh, Hazen's out. I'll attack W reset. Hey, friend. Maybe don't invade Olaf, my friend. All right, six minute mark, level six, not bad. Might be able to kill him. Ours is a slight speed up. He can't stay. If he stays, he's like insane. Okay, he's insane. Okay, he's insane. I'll shield myself and we're chilling. Zinzel will probably pop the wall. I think I can solo him though, as long as my W's up. Vigar might have flash. Okay, maybe I just do need to run. I'm, I'm so, oh, this is bad. My W wasn't quite up. We might've actually been able to win that because we had a massive attack speed steroid plus life still. And then obviously W, big attack speed bonus and shield. Oh man. It's a bigger shield the lower and health you are as well. I just needed a half a second. And I think we have it. Oh well. Against Vagar, we used our R for the speed up 20% move speed for one second. I didn't have boots and we had to close that distance. Close in for the Q. After Ravnus, we'll look for Shield Bow. Shield Bow is still overpowered because AD carry players complain a lot. So Shield Bow gives an insane amount of tankiness, AD, crit, attack speed, and survivability because of the shield. It pops. We got 30% health, and that's when Olaf's going to be getting his maximum attack speed and life speed still bonus from his passive. So it, it turns out perfectly. Exactly what we're going to be going for after. Zinzao, he hasn't taken his red yet. I think he's mad. I don't have my R, so I don't, I don't know if I can really fight Karma right now. I can certainly go kill Zin on his red buff. He hasn't taken that yet. It's been a super messy game with lots of mistakes from us. That's all right, though, because enemies are making plenty themselves. Oh, yeah, he started blue buff side. Hey, friend. I'm going to R into him so he can't knock me back. Take the kill. Auto attack. E reset. I have to leave. Karma, Ezreal rotating. I can't fight them like this without R. They might even check his raptors is the crazy thing. That's the wild thing. Is there, yeah. Look at this. Bro. Like, seriously? They're going to do a 30 second rotation just to save a red buff? No way. Zin might come over here now. I don't know if it's warded, though. This is so dangerous. Right, Zin didn't come over here. Must have gone for his blue instead. I doubt it's warded. Karma doesn't have her item finished yet. She's not really getting free wards out of it. Zen must have just gone for his blue buff. I'll go mid for the vague. Oh, the Trist Flash. The outplays. Limit tester. His name holds true. What a play. What a play indeed. All right, it's time to invade Zen. He can't fight us at all. I wonder if he rage quit. I would not be surprised. Olaf's extremely frustrating to play versus when he's ahead. So yeah, he took his blue. Bop him with the axe, R into him, auto attack, E reset. Get our W on, slow him with smite. Finish him off. Ooh, I'd rather not fight Jax right when Vague's about to be here. We have boots advantage on him, so he's not very fast. His blue's down, but is his Gromp? Yes, it is. We can gank Vagar here in a moment if we really want to. I'm thinking we just reset while ours on cooldown, though. That would make the most sense. Typically, go for Emac second because your W per level doesn't give you very much. Only 10% attack speed, a tiny shield bonus, and a slightly lower cooldown. Meanwhile, your E gets a crazy amount of 45 extra true damage per level. Plus lower cooldown, which is a huge deal because every time you attack, it puts it on a lower cooldown. So you can spam it a lot in fights more than just once, unlike your W, which you can typically only use once in a fight because the cooldown only gets so low. Jax is trying to fight Cassante. Seems like a bad idea considering he's behind. Cassante shouldn't have any issues with that. It's time for Ravenous. 
Ravenous Hydra. Here we go. Against their team. Eh, I don't know. I'm feeling the Ionians. That makes the most sense here. I would have gone for Swifties, but we really do need a low cooldown on R. Otherwise, they have the Karma Snare, which is point and click. They could just put Cage on me, and then I'm screwed. I mean, the Zen R, the Jaxi, they have a lot of tools for shutting us down if we do not have R. So, cooldown is going to be extremely important. Plus, it's Summoner, Spell Haste. Having Ghost on a low cooldown on an Olaf has its perks. Did Twitch really just try to steal that from me? What the heck? I think he actually just tried to take that. What a butthole. Of course it's warded. Why wouldn't it be? We can't keep up with them. They're zooming. I don't think there's a single time I've come bot where it's not worded. It's the hard thing about ganking a lane that's losing. They never have prio. It's typically worded. We'll chill in his jungle with item advantage. Hey, Vagar. Wow, he really just did that. Am I on a ward or is he just standing in the brush? He's so confident just standing up and taking that. Uh, Trist is getting shredded. I think that's a new Vagar skin. Zin's bot side. Time to take his top side. Farm super fast with the uh, Ravenous as well. Lots of AD. Plus ability haste. Works really well. Conqueror is certainly viable on Olaf. Lethal Tempo has a higher carry threshold on, on him, however. Conqueror is not quite as good for super long, drawn out, kind of 1v5 style scenarios. Conqueror is probably better for ganks when they're trying to get away from you. I'll say that much. So they're moving away. You can only put in so many auto attacks anyways. Easy Herald is in the bot side area. We'll go lay this top side. We want to lay it before 14 minute mark. Oh, that missed. No way. Hey, you can't get away from me, bud. Wait, he actually thought he would win that fight. No way. <laughs> they thought they could win that. That's funny. I mean, he did have a, a gore drink. So in terms of gold spent, we're nearly equivalent. I only had one more long sword and a da dagger over him. Oh, nice W shield OP, bro. It's time to unmute all. I need to taste the salt. Salt is sweetest when you're winning. Not so sweet when you're losing. <laughs> shield bow is going to make us super tanky, give even more survivability after shield bow. I mean, we could go Bork Bloodthirster. I'm thinking we go for Collector IE. And then we can top the build off with a Bloodthirster. We almost have item finished. Then we'll be getting that sweet, sweet 45% decaying movement speed for two seconds. I'll attack W reset. I already know they're shoving bot side. Not in a hurry to head down there without R when it is worded as well. It's a huge time investment to walk all the way down there for them to simply walk away. If there's one thing that Karma and Ezreal are, they are very mobile. Probably should go for the Karma here. Hey, Karma. You're not going to be able to get away. Oh, this is bad. That's too many people. Ezreal has a lot of gold spent as well. He's not particularly behind. Triz goes in and finishes. Yeah, I'm okay with that outcome, especially since Triss lived. Oh, the Vagar, down she goes. Vague's getting kind of fed. Boy, oh boy. Gore Drinker wouldn't be terrible. You typically do that when they're super melee frontline heavily. Let's say they have a tanky bruiser top and jungle plus a melee mid. If they have three or more melees, typically Gore Drinker's value is justifiable. However, I mean, they're all ranged. Vague, Karma, Ezreal are all going to be kiting us out. 
And a lot of the times, Jackson are going to hesitate to go in on us. So that's the whole point of the Ravenous. Gives you a lot of stats. Absolute heaps. What are we at right now? Currently granting 5 AD. All right, it's not very stacked because we keep dying too much. Twitch is trying to give up. That He's the one who tried to steal Gromp from me. What a goofball. I'll attack W reset. It's a dragon fight. I got to get over there. We certainly are dying too much, though. We keep losing our Ravenous Hydra stacks. Now we're at 7 AD and 1.2% uh, Omni Vamp extra. Actually a decent amount. 880, 1.4. Aw, oh, dang. Missed cannon. Feels bad. There's no way they're actually doing dragon, right? Oh, hey, Jax. Hey, friend. Got him. And I'm fast when I touch bushes. Yeah, buddy. 45% movement speed when we touch a bush. You can't can't simply walk away from Olaf look 524 movement speed when we touch a bush Zin's about to eat a fat one he doesn't react oh thank you my friend where do they think they're gonna go though it's my question hey friends oh, oh, oh. <laughs> can't fight Olaf, baby. <laughs> you don't simply fight Olaf. That's why the cheese is so good, man. People, they don't understand in solo queue environment. They don't. They both needed to run immediately. And if they would have done that, their lives would have been spared. Since they are foolish enough to show themselves, they paid the price. And that's with all the mistakes we made early on. We didn't play a flawless game. I made loads of mistakes, but guess what? We hit that level 6 power spike, and we're on top of the game. Super straightforward carry. His clear is super good, too. We're doing 315 full clears. Full HP. Practically full HP, no potion. Very pleased with that. Now our Ravenous Hydra is at its total bonus of extra 24 AD, 4% Omni Vamp, so it's giving us nearly 90 ad it's 89 ad but we'll say 90 ad and 14 percent omni vamp total it's freaking insane man a lot of omni vamp we're healing off of the true damage on our e omni vamp is you heal from every single bit of damage you put out so if i put out a thousand damage total i'm getting back 14 percent of that on omni vamp and seven percent life still which is 80 off of your autos hey friends ow oh no i lost my r I'm fast in brush. You got to stay away from Olaf once he touches the brush. Wait, where the heck did my axe go? My axe went into the wall. What the heck? All right, it's time for red buff. Please don't be in the brush, Zen. Ezreal's still messing with me. Zen might very well be here. Hey, friend, you wanted to fight? I'm fast, boy! Got him. If I didn't have that movement speed from the brush, he would have just straight up kited me out. He would have easily had me there. Hey, you want to fight Zin's out? Let's do it. Let's go, boy! Pull him to me. No, 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 no! Vagar coming in trying to get a vulture kill. Jax is thinking about it. We're already back to high HP. Goodbye, Vigar. Goodbye, Jax. Wow, we haven't died in a while. This build actually gives a stupid amount of survivability. We just can't die. <laughs> uh, if I can get my hands on him, then we won't die. Hit him with an axe. Triss goes in for the flash. She does get the kill. Zen's thinking about it. They're all kind of spawning in. I don't think I should stay over here. Feels like a bad idea. Because it is a bad idea. 
We'll back off, take their camps. No reason to stay. We have double his CS. Holy crap. We have so much CS, Cassante could farm our jungle. Look at that. Love to see that as a jungler. Your laners taking it easy, just playing PvE. When they start to regret their life decisions about not being a jungle main, they decide, you know what? They're 21 minutes in, it's time to farm some camps. Alright, let's go for... We could go for Bork. Bork would be kind of nutty. Bork would be good. Shoujin would be nasty AF. Hmm. I'm actually really tempted to just whip the Shoujin here. Shoujin would be really good on Olaf. It's just not quite worth it. Maybe if it gave some Omni Vamp. It's just AD and Ability Haste. Olaf needs a little bit more than that. We'll go Death's Dance. Final item. Maybe Dead Man's for mobility. Karma's fast, dude. How do I even get to her? I don't think we can. She doesn't get close enough for the axe to land. I guess that's how it is with trying to kill anyone on Olaf. If they're not close enough for the axe to land, you can't do it. Got him with two axes. Jax is on the split. I think we just end here. Might as well. Since I was thinking about it. He knows he can't though. They only have one turret now. It's not enough. He flashed. I'm still on R. I didn't quite get the kill. Feels bad. Ezreal flashed onto his fountain. And that is GG's, baby. Woo! If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.